Hey guys, welcome back. So this technically is not my first video. This is my third video that I'm creating. So I first started out with doing two hair tutorials. So, but I did want to kind of sit down and talk about how it's been, how it's been going. No one really talks about, in my opinion. Take two. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is technically my third video but i did kind of want to talk about the struggles on creating a youtube video so as you can see i have two additional videos doing the same thing and hair tutorial i thought that'd be the easiest thing to create because it's hard to kind of figure out what your niche is in my opinion what i picked up from all the video content creators you know sometimes you just gotta pick the phone up if that's what you have or if you have a camera and just start recording and that was kind of like my biggest struggle i truly wanted to create a youtube and i've been wanting to do this for years i mean probably since like 2015 and it's scary it's very scary getting behind the camera it's very difficult and understanding what you need to do but the one thing i can agree with all the content creators that are out there now that are saying that today is the perfect day to start. Don't think you're, you're behind because people are selling gems on YouTube. They are talking about the equipment to use, how to start, when to start, and that's pretty much what motivated me to kind of go ahead and take my iPhone because everyone says if you have an iPhone just start recording. Take my iPhone, connect it to my tripod, and just start recording videos. Now I already had a ring light. I mean, you can get a ring light for like $30 or less on Amazon. So there are a couple things that you probably are gonna wanna purchase when it comes to thinking about the equipment. But the one thing the video content creators always say is do not go out there and buy thousands of dollars of the top equipment and you've never even recorded a video. I completely contest to that. I mean, I bought a $300 Nikon when they were on sale back in 2019 during the holidays at, or Black Friday. I had bought it during Black Friday and I literally used that camera probably a handful of times. One, because it's hard to lug around, okay? It's hard to lug around all the equipment. You have to teach yourself how to use all the features. When my iPhone 12, I have the Pro Max, was taking the same quality photos. So probably since 2020, my camera has been collecting dust. I am going to bring it back out to kind of revamp it since now I'm making videos. But I highly recommend using what you have. Do not go out there and start buying stuff. If you're going to buy stuff, buy a tripod. Um, there is this little tripod that you can use on your mirror that I use for my bathroom videos. I'm going to go grab it real quick. So that's this. So you can stick it onto your mirror and you clamp it down. So if you want to do any videos um, in the bathroom, this is absolutely amazing because prior to I was trying to do a hair tutorial I mean I tried to do a video probably three or four other times but I was trying to put my ring light tripod in the bathroom it kept falling down I was trying to figure out what in the world how are these people getting these bathroom video shots and lo and behold they're using those car uh, phone holder and you just it still sticks right on your mirror so highly recommend and getting one of those you can get one for ten dollars on amazon and then you can get 30 to spend thirty dollars on a ring light you really don't need a ring light uh, but you obviously want to have somewhat of a decent quality video with good lighting but if you just want to even film outside use your bathroom lighting do what works for you you know create your videos on a budget if you need to and then once you get used to creating them then go ahead and start purchasing all the luxury equipment right now for me i'm giving myself six months of making videos and i'm holding myself to it before i even go out and start purchasing the expensive stuff or even like working with other individuals to help enhance my videos one i want to first see if I can make a YouTube. So I'm ecstatic that I'm on video three. Um, I recorded two videos at the same time. I recorded the one doing my hair, giving a um, review of the Nano flat iron. And um, so I decided let's go ahead and just talk about what I've been through. I also wanted to talk about, I also wanted to talk about being motivated. 
So the one thing YouTube has truly helped me with is being motivated to create videos. If you guys are losing the motivation, turn on YouTube and listen to the stuff that you want to see that can inspire you again. One, I saw one of my girlfriends creating YouTube videos and I was trying to figure out how in the world was she creating these videos? They were so good. I was, I was like, she, there's no way she's doing this with her phone. And she's like, yeah, I just used my phone. She said she did um, invest in a MacBook. And so my husband, he ended up purchasing me a MacBook for my birthday uh, a year ago, but this was before she was making her videos. He just wanted, he was tired of me using his laptop and I was like, do not buy me. I have two laptops for work. Please do not buy me a laptop. But he went ahead and bought it for me. I didn't touch it for about six months because I had no idea how to use a MacBook. But he was like, listen, you want to make videos. This is what you need. And that was really sweet of him to, to kind of invest in my dreams uh, because I, I honestly want to work in film. You know, a little bit of background behind me. I did a lot of plays. I did a lot of acting when I was in high school and middle school. Even as a kid, I did a couple plays like in elementary school. But I danced my whole life and I manifested becoming a cheerleader because lo and behold knows my chunky behind had a lot of people were telling me, girl, you don't look like a cheerleader. Oh, you can't be a cheerleader. All this negative stuff around me. So I was like, you can't tell me what I can and can't do. And that was kind of the first time I be truly believe I manifested something. And I cheered through high school. I cheered through college. And then after college, you get, you know, you join work. I couldn't make the Ravens because obviously they're looking for the top skilled cheerleaders and not saying that that wasn't me but they, they also wanted people that were had a certain body fat percentage and a girl likes to eat so I m manifested it up until college and I'm I'm happy with that and I continue to try out for like the little pro ball dance teams um but I didn't quite make it. They wanted me to lose weight. And I think if I had lost the weight, I truly would have continued my dream in cheerleading. So now I'm manifesting my dream in creating a YouTube. And that is what I am trying to motivate you guys to do. If you guys want to make one, I want to tell you, I have no experience in this at all. I literally have been watching YouTubes all day, every day. And um, I'm going to list in the comments some of the YouTube um, people that I watch some of the content creators, some, in my opinion, some of the best that give great, I'm talking about great tips on how to use software to create the videos, how to manipulate the videos, how to get your YouTube started, what equipment you should use. I'm nowhere on their levels and I want to give them the props for giving me the motivation I needed to get at least here. My videos, I'm not even going to knock them because I'm proud of them. You know, they may not be at their quality, but I'm not here to compare anybody's videos. You know, I'm only comparing what I'm bringing out from myself. And that's all you need to do for yourself. Do not compare from people that have been doing it since YouTube became a thing or have been doing it since 2013 for 10 years. Don't compare yourself to those folks. Just decide that if this is what you want to do, pick up your phone and just do it. Even if the, fir the first video for everybody, they're going to say it is going to be terrible. I can contest. Uh, I recorded mine through my computer, so it recorded my screen. So the first video is going to be terrible. Even the first 10 are going to be terrible, but at least you went ahead and did it and you've accomplished something. And let me tell you, it is fulfilling. When I saw the first video that I did on the little iTunes software, I, I'm telling you, I wanted to show everybody. It may have been terrible. I don't care. I was so proud of myself. And so that's why I wanted to come out. I wanted to talk about it. I want to talk about the struggles. It is not easy. Sometimes it does take a couple years to get motivated, but I do want to let you know that the time is now. If you want to create that YouTube video, check out some of these content creators and the, um, information section and they will hook you up but other than that i want to thank you guys for stopping by hopefully i can be an inspiration for some of you guys who are starting out 
Um, and uh, if you like what you see, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video. It also helps me feel like I'm doing a good job. I understand they're not perfect. There are gonna be people that don't like it, and that's fine because there's always room to improve. Nobody's perfect. So thank you guys for stopping by, and I hope you look forward to my future videos. Thanks.